Good morning, Ospreys. You're watching UNF Now on UNF Media, where we bring you all the campus and Jacksonville news you need now. I'm Nicole Laura. And I'm John Fuquay. So, John, do you like country music? Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. Well, that's great for you because there's a country concert coming to town Thursday. Is that right? I can't wait to hear all about it. Well, you will in a little bit. Have you ever thought about traveling to different countries to receive your degree? Now is the perfect time for you to find out more about the Coggin Study Abroad program offered here at the University. Today, a short info session will be held in Building 1, 2245 for students interested in the short-term faculty-led Spring 2013 and Coggin in Summer 2013 programs. All the programs, the application process, and scholarship opportunities will be discussed with the question segment to follow for any further concerns. Attention all water-loving UNF students! The UNF Aquatic Center is finally opening its doors exclusively to all UNF students for an hour of open swim each Wednesday night, beginning this evening from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Grab your group of friends and enjoy swimming laps, water jogging, playing water polo, or even just refreshing from a long hot day. Admission is free, just make sure to bring a valid UNF ID. Don't forget to swing by the Student Union and check out what's new around campus and in the Jacksonville community at Market Days every Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Each week, vendors come to share their unique crafts, bakery items, or pass on a great opportunity to UNF students. So get on out there, Ospreys. You never know what you might find out about your own neck of the woods. The weather so far this week has been opposite of last week. Let's see what the weather has in store for us today with your UNF Now weather report. For those of you who are into country music, put on your cowboy boots and giddy on up over to see Brad Paisley, The Band Perry, and Scotty McRae perform tomorrow night at the Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena. Yes, there are still tickets available for the event that begins at 7.30 p.m. However, they are selling rapidly, so get them while they last. Also, make sure to mark your calendars for the next country concert, Friday, October 26, when the Zac Brown Band will be playing. Tickets are on sale now and start at only $58. With Halloween around the corner, it looks like the ghosts, goblins, and zombies are coming out to play. The Zombie Buffet 5K will be taking place all day Saturday, October 10th, downtown at the Jacksonville Landing. Participants have the option to be a part of the undead or the living in this mad dash for survival throughout the streets of Jacksonville. If you choose to be a runner, you will have two health flags one of which you must cross the finish line with in order to survive. On the other hand, if chasing the runners while dressed up as a rotting corpse sounds more like your thing, don't worry, that's an option too. If the 3.1 mile race is too long for the kiddies of the family, try checking out the kids' zombie race, which takes place before the 5K. Cost varies. Check out their website, www.zombiebuffet5k.com for more details. Now let's see what the world of sports has in store for us today. Here's John Fuque with your UNF Now Sports Report. With your UNF Now Sports Report, I'm John Fuque. Friday night, the UNF women's soccer team will host their arch nemesis, the Dolphins of JU in the annual River City Rumble. The Dolphins narrowly edged the Ospreys in last year's match, which was nothing short of a classic. The Ospreys are eager to avenge that loss and claim bragging rights for the next year in this heated rivalry. Both teams are evenly matched this year and both are 2-0 in ASUM play. The Dolphins have won their last three, while the Ospreys are currently riding a two-game winning streak and will look to keep the momentum going into Friday night's game. Hodges Stadium is the place to be and the match is set to start at 7 p.m., so be there. In college football news, Notre Dame has chosen to opt out of its contract to play annually with Michigan. This means that the last game in the series will be played in 2014. The move comes as a result of Notre Dame moving all of its athletic programs, except football, to the Atlantic Coast Conference. 
although the Fighting Irish football program is not officially in the ACC. They have agreed to play five AC teams per year. Michigan is the first team to be moved off the schedule, with more changes sure to follow soon. The Fighting Irish edged the Wolverines in this year's contest by a score of 13-6. to six. Many fans of both teams will be disappointed that the annual rivalry is coming to an end. And the wait is almost over. The 2012 North American Wife Carrying Championships are right around the corner. The event held annually at the Sunday River Ski Resort in New Remain promises to be epic in just about every way possible. All you have to do to win is to put your wife on your back and run for a short distance. Although the event suggests that you must carry your wife, any man can carry any woman or vice versa. What do you get for winning? Good question. The winning team gets twice the weight of the female team member in beer and some cash. The event will be held Saturday, October 6th and starts at 11 a.m. So, Nicole, are you going to be at the Zombie Buffet 5K? Because I think you'd make a really good zombie. That's funny, John, because I actually think the same about you. I can totally picture you as a rotting corpse chasing people. Uh, no, I usually just chase ice cream chucks, and I'm really good at it. Oh, well, I think you would be. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> make sure you check out our website, unfmedia.com. And also make sure to like our new Facebook page, facebook.com slash unfmedia. Thank you for tuning in and checking, check in with us anytime you need your news now. Have a great day, UNF.